Welcome people to my fifth episode of uh, Minecraft Let's Play one uh, Season 4, Season 3, oh dear. Uh, as I told you before, I am going to craft myself some bookshelves. In fact, I don't uh, play any time since I logged off the last episode. And I only m took down the Quasitum into my inventory. And close those windows I had in there. Sh a shame, but necessary evil. Okay. So I am not sure if I need to place the quasi tomb in here, or or I can place it in here. Frankly, I always sewn everything placed a little farther away from everything, but that makes. Of course, that also allows for more of this stuff. And also, that means I have to close this uh, window too. Oh well. And I don't know what time I'm going to do with this, but the first thing I need to do is to light things a little. Anyway, this uh, should improve my chances of uh, discovering stuff. Let's uh, storage all our woods, shall we? And grab some cobblestone. Okay. <coughs> Before, when I placed the cobblestone in here, you saw that my chances of success were 3% at best when I had all these items. This is the item being researched. These two are supports. The rarer the item, or the higher its cost, rarity, however you prefer, the uh, higher the chances I get. Cobblestone, since it's very basic, it gives me only 1% chance. And this, uh, the loss rate is the chances of me having any of these uh, three items destroyed. Uh, so right now my success chance is 3%, the same way as before. So I might be doing something wrong, horribly wrong. Or maybe this uh, library stuff is only for researching the fragments, I am not sure. I am not sure anyway. But, uh, as you can see, our system has finished providing us with some more materials. So, it is time for us to think about what to build next. Our power demands are high. And, well, uh, I we have a good amount of uh, uh, well diamonds so what am I going to do now is uh, to prepare my travel to the nether oh dear yes I am going to the nether and it's only episode 5 <coughs> uh, I'm going to need uh, flint and steel uh, yes which is crafted with flint and iron and hey at the first time uh, be careful to take uh, some extra flint and steel with you to the nether some wood to craft stuff some cobblestone because the local thingies are not to be trusted for surviving against enemies oh, look charcoal is finished and uh, all that stuff and for those of, the, of you that are new to Minecraft because uh, the nether is a uh, vanilla mechanic uh, you must say that time spent in the nether is time that uh, won't uh, be passing in the real world also uh, when you travel through the nether you'll realize mm, nah, no you will realize that uh, you travel uh, 
longer distance in in the real world or overworld as it is uh, usually called. There are, uh, by the way, some tricks to build uh, another portal without having uh, diamonds <coughs> pickaxe. Okay, yes, it's three. Uh, those involve uh, running around with buckets of lava and uh, water. I don't need to carry obsidian to the other side because uh, there will be <coughs> a portal waiting for me spawned under my feet and in case I am spawning in the in <coughs> in a place without any kind of uh, physical support for me to stand in it will also uh, has uh, have a platform made of obsidian too behind my feet so we turn on the lights and you can see the, the portal is open with this nifty little effects similar to the Enderman's uh, teleporting after effect and we are entering the nether for the first time building terrain, simulating the world for a bit and hopefully let's cross our fingers Building terrain, yes. Oh dear. This uh, I am on top of is a uh, sand, soul sand. It's a soul sand platform which uh, takes a plier and forces him to walk slower. This is uh, well netherrack, which, by the way, burns forever. You light it in fire, and it won't be turning off unless uh, you do it uh, manually. Oh dear! We have there a flying monster. Those are usually attracted to the to the gate, and you can you can see play tennis with them. A little hard, but uh, it can one shot them or one shot us. Anyway, I am not here to play tennis, even if it's uh, high stakes uh, tennis, like so, but to get some. Oh dear. Yes, that glowstone. Which means uh, it will be hard to go up. I am going to need to uh, craft myself away, digging through the nether. And I don't have the slightest idea why are those uh, chunks light like so. Oh, and by the way, it uh, talking about uh, the map. It would be a really good idea to mark where my spawner is. So let's add a waypoint in here and call it uh, portal. And of course, I just realized that I could have uh, crafted myself a portal gun like this. Oh no, I don't have an ender pearl, sadly, before coming here. I killed already one or two. Oh dear, where are you? Oh, you're there. One or two endermen, and uh, that was, and they. Drop nothing. Okay, let's see if I can get up there. Oh, look. I might not need to dig my way with a little luck. 
Oh, those uh, thingies with golden swords? They are neutral. Attack them and you'll be mincemeat. Leave, the, leave them alone and they will leave you alone. And uh, if they are attacked by the flying... by the flying white glove, they will turn against it too. <coughs> and by the way, there is a reason I brought myself the flint and thunder, and it's not because I am lighting fires to use them as a light source, but because the if if the portal is uh, hit by th those fireballs, it will turn itself off, and I will need another source of uh, power like like the flint and tinder to turn it on again so here we are glowstone at last yay <coughs> so glowstone is treated like crystal since uh, some patches ago and you can break it with your hands, but it's not recommended since it wouldn't drop anything. Okay, perfect. We need the glowstone for some both equivalent exchange and uh, industry craft stuff. And by the way, I told you that this, okay, that uh, this netherrack won't r uh, resist the impacts of the um, of that uh, fireball. So it's true. You can see it's being destroyed. Okay. Also. If you attack one of the pigmen, by the way, I forgot to say, they all will turn against you. That also goes for the flying boats of gas. And it might be half a problem right now, I don't know how to go down. Oh dear. Mm, oh. See? I hit one and he went down. Hmm so I need to go down somehow okay I think I remember this yes I do whoa careful with the fire okay so this has been my short-lived expedition to the nether <coughs> oh and it would be a good idea to grab myself some soul sands uh, I, I'm not sure if I use it with uh, any of my systems right now. I mean, with any of uh, ooh, with any of the mods I have currently installed. But uh, it is a good ODR. Oh, perfect. <coughs> yeah. But uh, it is a good thing to have some sort of supply. Especially since uh, oh, it's night time now. Uh, especially since uh, it might be used for something. Let me see. Can be well, infernal bricks. Yes, these are new from Railcraft. There's no more uses, however. <coughs> Not a great trouble. So let's craft some diamonds. Let's craft some redstone, and let's craft. A Philosopher's Stone, ODR. This is the starting point of uh, Equivalent Exchange. And you can use this to completely for free <coughs> charge it with uh, V and turn Cobblestone into Smooth Stone. Nice. You can also turn uh, dirt into cobblestone if you shift uh, 
click, but uh, well, I don't think it would be a good idea right now. <laughs> anyway, I like the looks of uh, smooth stone better. You can see it has a great range. And of course it can be used for converting stuff uh, instead of, the, of, well, whatever. Oh, and in case you want to uncharge, it's Shift V. Perfect. Okay, let's see what other trouble can we get in. Haha, <laughs> with our Philosopher's Stone, we now we have the recipe, but we can use it to craft transmutation tablet and uh, interdiction torches and transmute some fuel between levels. Mobius fuel and Eternalis fuel, etc. Oh, we can use it to manually transmute uh, thingies, at least iron and gold. Uh, so, let's craft some cobblestone. Let's see if we can turn it into stone. Can we? Nope. But we have some smooth stone in here. Let's grab it, let's grab the obsidian, and let's craft our transmutation tablet. Following the recipe, we see it's like so. Yes, transmutation tablet. And you can see we didn't lose our philosopher's stone. Dun dun dun, cliffhanger. Let's go to sleep. Ha, <laughs> just kidding. So, I am going to place uh, this for now, I believe, in here. And the project table in here. So, right now, the transmutation table has nothing. It can't turn anything into anything because it knows nothing and it has to be taught. So I am teaching it the different blocks I have on me right now. So it can, well, establish some sort of, uh, I don't know, database. It will only accept uh, items that are in peak condition, by the way. So let me see, will it accept an iron pickaxe? Yes, it will. Fascinating. And an iron bucket. I uh, suppose it will also accept uh, a diamond uh, pickaxe and uh, the flint and steel. This is useful in case you need for some reason an item and you don't have the materials right on hand at this time and you need uh, whatever. Uh, 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 did I? Yes, I thought it soul sounds. Okay, uh, another good side effect of this uh, is that you can teach it iron and gold and turn your cobblestone into smooth stone without uh, having to to wait or something. Mm, 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 mm. Let me see if I can teach it uh, to make tin or copper. I hope I will be able to... Yes, I can make it... Yes, it's true. I already did that on the previous season, didn't I? Anyway, as you can see, it will be a little... Well, boring to do this. But it's a somehow necessary step. Okay, I'm going to store the nether rack. And by the way, the nether rack does have some use. The igniter. And can be turned into nether brick thanks to the compressor. Which is kind of nice. <coughs> the igniter if is a, a programmable fire, a source of fire you can well, have working somehow. Okay, marble is another thing I want to teach, and sand, and eggs, and, and clay, brick, leather, 
raw beef, rotten flesh. Ink is another thing I want to touch, to teach it. Uh, bones, flowers, mushrooms, saplings, seeds, uh, wood, ladders, not really, but sugar cane and paper, oh, sapphire, emerald, and ruby, and apples, rubber trees. Let's try indigo flower and we can't uh, teach it anything else. So there we go. You can see this is a little quicker. Okay. And if I left the items in here, they will be remain there. And if I toss the items in there, they will be destroyed and their power value will be added to the transmutation table. I am reticent to do that anyway. Uh, so this, this and this goes in there. <coughs> I believe that's all. Oh no, the feather. And everything else goes up the up here. So I'm quite happy because uh, we made a huge step in the way of crafting stuff. And I might be burning some of my old tools in here because I will be, uh, now that I have some sort of stable power source, that produces a little extra power than I can use. <clears throat> I suppose I will be uh, crafting myself the items I told I would be doing. Uh, let's take some silver. <clears throat> Okay, so the first time, the first thing I need to do is to grab myself some tin, uh, some copper cables, rubber, copper, and redstone. Lots and lots of redstone. And by the way, nicolite can also be taught in lapis and coal. They can all also be taught here. So nicolite is considered a fuel source. Lapis lazuli is considered something normal. Uh, rubber can't be added, by the way. And coal has been already learned. Okay. You can see there's no locking here. That's because you can only transmute matter into matter and fuel into fuel. <coughs> you can't do it uh, backwards. You, for that, need to use uh, some universal items. I am going to show you later. Oh, right now I need to craft myself some uh, isolated uh, copper cables. Okay. <clears throat> Perfect. Uh, now that we have copper we, uh, cables, we have the tin to place at the sides, we can craft ourselves some rechargeable batteries. <clears throat> so we're going to make ourselves a bat pack, a Batman approves. I need an electronic circuit and some batteries. Do I have an electronic circuit? Yes, I do. However, we can also upgrade the bat pack into a lab pack, but for that we require oops, an advanced circuit, which is crafted like so. <coughs> so you see, we're going to need lots of lapis lazuli, which we don't have right now, so I won't be transmuting it uh, fr from other materials, because there's no great need right now. We have a backpack now. Yay! We need to place it here to charge. 
Also, while batback, while backpacks can charge from uh, batbox, the lap packs requires advanced versions of uh, energy of electricity storage machines. So it's a uh, whoops in that regard. Uh, okay. What do we need now? Oh, of course, the batteries don't go there. Uh, yes, using the batteries to craft something. Something, something, something. What are we going to craft? <clears throat> oh, I believe we hit a little problem regarding power. Yes, the bat pack has uh, a lot of energy capacity and it has priority when it comes to charging the uh, higher priority than all these items oh this is tin and this is silver true this is tin perfect as soon as it's charged right uh, 